Well, 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 top of the morning, top of the morning, my dears. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again for the remix. It's like, no, nah, we ain't remixing nothing. We about to find out what the daily bread is for the Divine Feminine. That's what we're doing. Today is Friday the 22nd. Indeed, 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 indeed it is. So we're going to find out what we got going on this weekend from Friday the 22nd through the 21st and the 20... Oh, oh my gosh, I, I, how I just go back at that? We're going to find out how things is going Friday the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, okay? So this Friday through Sunday, okay? So again, the 22nd through the 24th, okay? So Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Um, if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that hyperlink right there on that about page all right you will see a link down at the bottom that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again it is scorpion reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonates and gives you some type of insight and guidance and if you would like to give a love donation you can feel free to do so you guys have been showing out with the love donations and guess what i just ordered several new decks because of you guys showing love so y'all keep on showing love i'm gonna keep on eventually once things build and grow up i might buy some stuff and just select somebody and just and, and, and send y'all some stuff you know what i'm saying because the way things is looking you know look i'm all the way up i'm on the way up you know what i'm saying and by the love and support of you guys my page is growing 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 i feel the love vibrations like it is so much just just a lap of abundance right now coming in through me and i've been praying for each and every one of y'all just know when we be in the comments when we communicate and i say i pray for y'all i do and I feel like God is blessing me, and I know he's blessing y'all, and I know a lot of my ladies, we've been going through some shit, but we have most definitely been on the way up. Hey, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up, okay? I'm on the way up, okay? We on the way up, ladies, so it don't matter. Let them trials and tribulations be your motivation. And when things come your way to some bullshit, you, you just say to yourself, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. And the devil real mad. Okay? The devil real mad. So keep pissing them off. Keep being your best. Okay? Keep showing them. I don't give a fuck what you throw at me. I'm still about to take this shit down. I'm still taking over. It is the takeover. 2019 is the motherfucking takeover. And y'all will not shake, rattle, or fold me, bitch. I'm solid as a rock. You understand what I'm saying? So I need y'all ladies to keep that momentum up. I'm keeping y'all uplifted in prayers. Y'all keep me uplifted in prayers. Y'all pray for our whole community that watches these videos because y'all, we are on the fucking way up, ladies. The spring is coming. I want y'all to get excited. Get excited, y'all, because nothing can stop us. We are on the way up. And I, look, Father God, I hope, listen, that's my prayer because I ain't even about to run this out, out too much because I've already been talking, but I'm just juicy right now. I am juicy. I am juicy right now. Listen, everything is about milk and honey right now, okay? milk and honey that's it father god please give the divine feminine guidance for today friday all the way through sunday so today friday the 22nd through um sunday the 24th of march please give the divine fine feminine some guidance keeping them uplifted in their spirit and their heart their mind and their soul please give us guidance for the divine feminine some daily bread some nourishing some nourishment thoughts nourishment thoughts Lord. okay come on father just give me guidance and I've been trying to light that candle, and that candle will not light for me. So, whatever. Must have put too much honey on my candles. Oh, just to call. Okay, I know y'all see my candles. I always, ooh. I always fix my tea candles, y'all. I have like a, a wet mix. It's like a um, finance and prosperity wet mix that I put on there on my candles and then I always sprinkle always base it with some honey to sweeten it up and put some love on there with some flowers yes but I think I sweeten it up too much today cuz my candle do not want to stay lit I think I put too much honey on my candle but that makes sense for me because my ass is too sweet <laughs> the tour Alright ladies, let's see what this what's going on. The 
ten of water in reverse and the two of earth, earth in reverse. Alright, let's see. Let's clarify this with some love. What does this mean? What's this ten of water in reverse? Well, clearly we know what that means. It means, you know, you're no longer giving yourself to a commitment that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. It's an ending. It's over. You know? And you got big old fat Buddha sitting there. Yes. Oh, you're no longer devoted. Metamorphosis. Ah, okay. I see you, boo. I see you. We're reloading. You're not playing around. And you say, uh-uh. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, honey. There will be no more devotion in that. Okay? And you see that my candle just went out. You blew that flame out. That flame is no longer lit there. You are not emotionally fulfilled there. You're like, boy. Boy, uh. You better go find another toy, uh. Go find another toy, uh. Is your name Toya? You better go find another toy, uh. <laughs> but if y'all from the DMV area, we, um, like, put the uh at the end of everything. So, <laughs> Yes, indeed. So someone's like, can I have back my toy, please? A person from the DMV be like, um, can I have back my toy? <laughs> you talking to somebody, you be like, um, boy, uh, if you don't stop. <laughs> so, boy, uh, you better find another toy. <laughs> boy, you better find another toy. Have confidence. Listen. Okay, I ain't, I ain't freestyling today. I ain't singing today. I ain't gonna fuck y'all up today. Cause, Lord, I watched that video back. I said, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing to the... <laughs> what am I doing to these ladies in this video? They don't want to hear that shit. Girl, can I say it? Child, up there sounded like some screeching cats fucking in the alley, girl. What? What? Girl. I just want you to know the top of the deck of the rebel deck does say that you've been loved. So I'm going to put this right here. Okay, because we're going to accept that. we accepting that right here in the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm accepting that. So yes, you are loved. And that is just going to be in the middle of the whole weekend, honey. Yes, yes. And then the first card right off the top is love. Boom. So we're going to accept that. And we're going to take this time to let go. Come on, Father. All pink. What you think? All pink. All right. Mm-hmm. Let me try to light my candle back again. Cause don't even do me right now. Cause we 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 putting this prosperity, this sweet love and prosperity. We 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 lighting this. We putting that we putting that in rotation, honey. So let's 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 get into this, my dears. Y'all see I done been I done put a fancy bitch today. I done went to Miss Starbucks. I done went to Miss Starbucks today, bitch. Alright, so let's start off. This whole weekend, God just wants you to know that you are love. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. You hear me? That's your general message for this whole weekend. You are loved by spirit. And God is uplifting you. And he's letting you know he got something special planned for you. Don't fuck it up. Continue to keep yourself in a high self-love vibration do not fuck it up you are here for a reason don't fuck it up god brought you to this point for a reason honey do not fuck it up we're gonna keep that right there boom give me the love titty shake shake the titties bitch shake them shake them bitch shake them yes bitch yes we putting love all out there in the atmosphere today and we ending it with love and god letting us know did you were protected on this journey bitch this journey that you are going through right now is your life purpose because God, listen, that pot of gold at the end of that uh, rainbow, honey, that ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. Oh, it's a long walk. Have you ever really tried to walk to see if you could catch a rainbow, bitch? See, people don't believe in magic, but you do. And God is letting you know. Listen, you are protected and he got something for you at the end of that rainbow. Don't worry about if don't nobody else believe in rainbow. You can't chase a rainbow. It ain't nothing. That, eh, eh. Bitch, you see it. If you see it, believe it. You are protected. 
You are a rare motherfucking unicorn. You ain't like everybody else. God ain't put that anointment on nobody but you. Because you were loved. You are special. You are different. You are different. And let me tell you, the hardest trials he puts his soldiers through. Because he know that we are not weak. He know that we are not weak. That's why he needs you to have confidence. I know I'm reading this spread backwards, but I don't give a fuck. You need to have confidence and know that God is putting you through this because you are loved. And it says, okay, so let me, let me, okay. Let me, let me back this up. Cause I'm, I'm just, I'm just doing whatever. I'm doing whatever's clever right now. I'm doing whatever's clever. Let me do this how I normally do this. Okay. Listen, this is the 10 of cups. Okay, so you might have been dealing with a Pisces that you just told this motherfucker to kick rocks. Okay, and we've already been saying that a lot of you guys have been going through a breakup and divorce. So this is just basically saying that you're still in the in this space. You're still in this space where you're going through this divorce and you're letting go. Now you're emotionally letting go. And this is a completion. This is finality. It's over. It is over. And as you can see, this is Buddha on this card. This is Buddha. Your faith is what is holding you right now. And do you see how he's just a big old fat little cute dog? Don't you just want to rub his belly in his head? He's just too freaking cute. I love Buddha statues. Y'all are in a place of peace and tranquility. Do you understand? You guys are happy. You guys have washed away and removed this emotional turmoil from your life and you are at peace. That's why that big fat Buddha man is there. Okay? That's why the big fat Buddha man is there. You guys are happy. Because it's like, man, I blew that candle out. I, do no, I no longer feel like I have to be devoted to bullshit. You feel free. Your faith is soaring. Your emotions. Every last one of those cups that you poured out about this relationship, you are slowly filling them up with self-love. Self-love and faith. And you know, listen, you know that you are protected and that love is coming to you. It's telling you that right here at the end. It's telling you this in the beginning. Keep yourself in this vibration, baby. Because I, like, this energy that I have right now, I'm, like, super, 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 super excited. I'm super excited. And what does this say? Such a curious dream. Grounding. Returning to reality. Coming home. Bitch, you ain't coming home. You going away from home. You, you finding a new home, honey. Like, I ain't going back no, I went home. Going back no damn home. I ain't got no home no more. Creating a new motherfucker, huh? All right? Such a curious dream in reverse. Wanting to hold on to an experience and not return to the everyday. Wishing to live in wonderland rather than experiencing it and bringing its magic into your everyday world. Becoming ungrounded and disconnected. Feeling drawn to a fantasy. Being susceptible to illusions. Okay. So... This is, this is the thing. I am taking that as you ladies have gone through the transition. You went through this divorce. You're no longer to, devoted to that. Like I said, you're devoted to self-love and pouring up those cups for yourself. And I feel like right now, you guys are in, in Wonderland. You're in a dream state because you know that this love is coming to you. God sent you a message you guys have been dreaming late at night when all the world is sleeping i stay up and think of you okay you be, okay see i ain't sound too fucked up right there yes ladies i ain't blow your ear out okay let me stop let me stop because i ain't singing that well bitch i ain't singing that well anyway let me tell you something and i wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. I'm sorry. I was getting excited, ladies. Listen, because y'all been dreaming. You've been dreaming. Y'all let go of this. And now y'all are finally at a place where it's like... Y'all are literally sitting up at night dreaming. And I can see some of y'all crying just like, thank God. 
I release this. Like, thank God I release this. Y'all stay up at night crying, thinking about how happy you're going to be, wondering what this man is going to look like. Like the thing, like just even just fantasize. I just I, I I see you guys in a lot of fantasy, and it moves you to emotions, and it moves you to emotions where you guys get emotional and you cry because it's just like every time you think about it, you get so excited and you feel this, like you literally feel this, and that's why it's like. I am here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you guys are nervous because you feel that love vibration so much. And you know it's coming. Like, you fucking know it's coming. You know? You know it's coming. But what Spirit is saying, don't live so much in the fantasy. Take yourself out of the fantasy world. Yes, we want you to dream. But I want you to take little elements like, let me say, like in your in your brain, like if you were dreaming and you were saying, um, shit, I'm gonna fuck around. Yeah, I see a lot of tea. I feel like y'all gonna meet somebody at Starbucks. I was just about to say that because I'm seeing all this tea. I'm seeing all this tea. And bitch, I was just at Starbucks tea, bitch. Let me tell you, I feel like y'all are gonna like y'all been thinking like I go in Starbucks every day, I go in this cafe every day. I'm going to fuck around and bump it to like a real successful lawyer or something like that. And we just going to talk because he's going to be like, what the fuck is that weird ass green drink that you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all be in there ordering weird ass drinks and shit like that. And somebody going to be like, bitch, what is you drinking? Well, he ain't going to call you no bitch. But he going to be like, what is you drinking? And then y'all just going to start talking. And then like maybe every morning, like you guys just start hooking up and just having small little chats. In the Starbucks or in the cafe. And then eventually it's going to build up to something where y'all want to go out to lunch. And it's not just, hey, what's up in the, you know, in the morning in the cafe. And I feel like you guys have been imagining this type of shit in your head. Might not be that scenario, but it's like you going to, you've been fantasizing about bumping into your new person. And like a social setting or something like that. And I feel like you guys have been dreaming about this so much that you're in a fantasy state. And God is like, okay, okay. So if I give this to you, all right, are you going to be able to take what you're dreaming about and actually have the confidence to do all of that in real life? Are you going to have the confidence? Because in your dream, it's like... You're the bold one, like, hey, like, what's, you know, or whatever. You know, in your dream state, what you're fantasizing about, you have a lot. You a bold, bad bitch. But are you going to have the confidence? Okay? Are you going to have the confidence to pull this off if I give it to you? Guess what? I've been, I've been, I've been in your head with you. I've been seeing these dreams. I, I know what you've been feeling, girl. What if I told you that you were protected in these thoughts? What if I told you that you were protected in these wishes? And I indeed am going to change your environment and send you that love. This says give, get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Give some, get some. It will cheer you up. Continue to give yourself that self-love. If you get some, you going to get some. And it's going to cheer you up. You feel me? So, you are loved. Not only are you loved, you're over that emotional unhappiness. That stage, that phase of your life is fucking over. Let's get a clap for that. Thank God. Hold on. Where's some Florida water? Good Lord. Come on, Father. Bless these hands. Bless these hands that I'm doing this reading with. Come on, Father. Bless them. Bless them. Because we about to, mm -mm, come on. Because we dreaming. We are dreaming. Ooh. Mm, I love the smell of Florida water. Yes. Stage of Florida water, honey. Yes. Let me tell you something. Such a curious dream. Such a curious dream. You've been dreaming. And now it's time to come home. Now it's time to come home to reality. And it's time for you to go to that tea, that tea shop. And it's time for you to actually have confidence let's see let's see how bad you is let's see how bad you is because guess what 
God's about to give you exactly what you asking for, honey. Oh, he about to give you what you asking for. Girl, girl, what is this saying? Choices. Feeling blocked, restrained. Girl, no, you not. You ain't blocked. Mm-mm. Honey, you a... Hmm. All right. So listen. Tomorrow. This is the two of coins. So two of earth. Two of pentacles. Okay. So like I said, not only have you emotionally let go, but you have dropped. You dropped one of those pentacles. Something that was literally um, keeping you bound and holding you down. For a long time, you've been trying to invest time and give effort and, you know, commit yourself to something that wasn't worth it. And you're not doing it no more. You're not doing it no more. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. If it ain't adding up to you in the long run, ain't no, ain't no point of me giving my energy to it anymore. You are blossoming. You have unwrapped yourself from that silk cocoon, all right? Because I feel like when you were in your caterpillar stage, you didn't feel... That you were yourself. You felt out of place. So you wrapped yourself in that silk. And now you are emerging a butter fucking fly. One of the most beautiful butterflies. And you could soar higher than any other butterfly species. That is on this earth. Because God put a spiritual anointment for you. He wanted you to get a little bit higher than what everyone deems is safe. For your type of species. You're not. The norm. Okay? You have spiritual wings. Angelic, angel-like wings. Okay? And it's time for you to soar. And you have literally changed yourself from the inside out. Not only have you fixed yourself from the inside, I feel like you guys have been dressing like you're dressed, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the way you walk. You legitimately are turning things around and you are starting to pick your confidence up because you can't attract the love that you want if you don't have the confidence if you don't believe in yourself why the fuck should the universe believe in you to give you what you want if you're still telling yourself i'm not worth it i'm still unhappy i'm emotionally sad i'm going through you know what i'm saying the world is going to continue to give you this but you are changing your vibration around it is so much love here and that's why you're getting that vibration back. You're getting it back. So this says choices. Feeling blocked, restrained. Let's see what that says. And six is literally the number of love. It's the number of harmony. It's the number of relationship. Um, caring. Responsibility. Nurturing. That's what the number six means. Alright. So in the reverse. This means... Giving up too soon, feeling daunted by challenges, or stuck in an in-between place. An unwillingness to alter habits in order to transform. Reluctance to move forward. A lack of curiosity. Okay, so it seems to me that you might still be holding on to some un, you know, unhealthy patterns. All right, And you need to make that choice to stop because I feel like you, my dear, are... Looking for acknowledgement from somebody that shouldn't even fucking matter. It shouldn't even matter to you no more. Stop looking for attention. Stop looking for acceptance. Stop looking for someone to appoint you in a certain level of stature. That should not even matter no more. So I feel like if some of you ladies are looking back. And I had someone, I spoke to a young lady yesterday, and her only question was, does this person have any remorse for what they did? That's you looking for acknowledgement from this other person to see if they feel sorry. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? And that's the only thing that you need to drop. This is the thing that you need to drop, ladies. Giving a fuck. You giving too much of a fuck. For the ones that are still giving a fuck, I need you to be like these ones up here. The ladies up here, today, they dreaming. They in a dream world. They don't give a fuck about this person in the past. They let look, They let that shit go and they emotionally secure about that shit. Only thing that they insecure about is making sure that they going to have the confidence that when this new person come around, oh, because honey, when he come, he going to be something fine. 
You ain't even gonna remember this situation. This situation gonna be like, who the fuck was that? I don't even like you. You you almost gonna be embarrassed. Like if this new person was to meet this new person that you gonna be, cause y'all have fun with each other. Y'all legitimately like this person makes you laugh. This person look. The man had it in the hair. Y'all motherfuckers crazy. Like, y'all have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, and y'all dress down. Y'all some fancy motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all, like, y'all on a different level. Y'all are on a different fucking level. You and this new person, y'all aspire to greatness. Because, I mean, and, and, and seriously, y'all go out. Y'all play games with each other. Um, I see y'all go and play pool. I see y'all going to like the thoroughbred racetrack. Y'all plays bets and stuff like that. I can see y'all even going to the Kentucky Derby. Dressing up real nice with the big hats and stuff like that. Like that's what type of nigga this is. That's what type of nigga this is. And that's why you're like, hold on. I ain't even ever dealt with no nobody on this level. Like this dude is sophisticated, but he got that kind of kind of edge to him, you know, like, like kind of that, you know, that cool edge to him where he's still hip, but he know how to go in the boardroom, he know how to chill with the homies, he know how to love you, he, he give you, he give you loving long time, he give you loving long time, so the ones that's down here, what you need to let go in order for you to fully blossom and get out of that cocoon, you need to stop looking for an acknowledgement and stop worrying and giving a fuck about if this motherfucker feels bad about what they did. They don't and don't give a fuck about it. You, what you need to do is don't feel bad about you moving the fuck on and enjoying your life and forgetting about this person. Move on and be so successful and so elevated in your life that you can't even see this motherfucker that you're soaring in the air dropping shit on their head they having to dodge your shit like i said to y'all before y'all are eagle it would strain your eyes to look down at the ground you don't belong there you belong in the fucking clouds you're a dreamer you're dreaming about your fucking success and trying to have confidence to obtain it you're not the same no more you don't belong in that realm with them peasants any fucking more. Stop looking for any, and I mean any, 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 any type of acknowledgement, any type of any fucking thing for them. You will not win in that situation. You will not be successful in that situation. That person didn't acknowledge you then. Why the fuck are you looking for them to acknowledge you now? You are not listening. Stop it. Stop it. You need to be up here. You don't need to be down here. You want to be low or you want to be high. God wants you to practice on letting this shit go. Let it the fuck go. Move the fuck on. You hear me? Do you hear me? You are loved. That is what God wants you to know at the center of this. You are loved. You need to know that. You have to know that. You have to fucking know that. I'm going to pull one more spread. One more. One more. The Ace of Air. Numbing. I wonder what will happen next. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. Like I said, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. What? Books, get over yourself. Pull your shit to get come. So Sunday, all right, you will come to the point of realizing that mentally, I am too back and forth about where my mind is in this situation. I feel like you guys. Sometimes you guys are cool. With not giving a fuck and not knowing. And then at the same time, something triggers you guys. Where you, It's like, I just want to know the fucking truth. I just want to know the truth so that I can move on and find clarity. All right? And I feel like you guys, you guys realize that, you know, 
You need to stop numbing yourself. There's never going to be truth and clarity in this situation. If you're coming back looking for this person to acknowledge you, to say sorry, or to show some type of remorse, or to come back and to give you some type of truth to it, they're not. If you have been drinking and dealing with any type of substance abuse or anything that might be self-harming. Um, I mean, you see this guy has tattoos. I feel like some of you guys might have been going out getting tattoos. Maybe y'all have a tattoo or something like that that you um, are thinking about getting. Don't do that. Because every day that you look at that, you're going, it's going to remind you of this situation. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you do that? If you do anything, get a tattoo of a butterfly or something beautiful. Something beautiful that reminds you of your healing and of this new sex that you're in. Don't get anything that would make you, that would trigger you. Because I feel like some of you guys have been, I don't know, some of you guys have been like, like this tattoo that I'm picturing in my head that you guys are thinking about getting. It's like crazy. It's like something that re resembles like a broken heart or something. Like, don't do that. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you damage your body like that? Why would you damage your body by drinking unnecessarily? Why would you damage your body by... I feel like some of you guys are even going out clubbing like every fucking day. Just like doing shit just to, to, to numb you so you don't think about this situation. Because I feel like some of you guys deep down inside, y'all still want to know the truth. And I feel like you are doing things that you normally wouldn't do just to keep your mind off of the fact that this person has moved on and I need to move on. And I'm having a problem moving on. And I'm just doing anything just to keep my mind off of it. And you guys cannot do that. And I feel like maybe this weekend, you guys might have did too much. You guys might have did too much. And you guys are coming to the point where y'all are looking at yourself in the mirror. And just like, I need to be honest with myself here. About what I'm doing to myself. I need to have confidence. I need to listen to my inner voice. I need to listen to my inner voice. And I really need to practice letting go and practice self-love because I've been dreaming about this new beginning. Like, why am I so back and forth, back and forth? One day I feel like a nut. One day I don't. I'm in joys, I have nuts. Miles don't. Like, well, you just boom, 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 boom. Like, every day is a different feeling. And it's all because you are wondering what will happen next. Ready to adventure to perceive change a pause before action so you guys are in a point right now where it's like you're so back and forth you're so toxic turby because you really don't know what the universe is about to offer you and i feel like for some of you see, see me i'm the type of person i'm not gonna let a resolution i'm not gonna let clarity i'm not gonna let um me trying to find a resolve to a situation hold me back for moving on. Because I know, like, if someone did something wrong to you, do you really think that they're going to come and tell you the truth? Oh, I cheated on you with your sister. Oh, I did this, I did... They're not going to fucking tell you the truth. So do not hold yourself back trying to get closure. That's stupid. Find closure in knowing I'm never going to find the truth out. This person is never going to find me the truth. And it's better that I don't know the truth. Why the fuck would I want to tear that wound right back the fuck open after I got through all of this healing? Trying to find out the truth and then it's just going to open the wound back up, baby. Be fine with just knowing that you'll never know the truth. That's clarity for me. I need to move on and I need to stop doing this bullshit. And I need to get back to business before you pick up a nasty ass habit. This situation ain't worth picking up a nasty ass habit trying to numb yourself. Stop thinking about this. Cut it the fuck out. And I'm sorry, y'all already know me. Y'all not listen. I'm not the reader for it. If y'all don't want, I talk to y'all like y'all my sisters and y'all my brothers. You understand? So if y'all want somebody to be sweet with you, to pussyfoot around the truth with y'all, y'all go find another reader. Because y'all already know. So if you're new to my page and if y'all not used to how I talk and how I deal with shit, go find another reader. Because this is tough love. This is how we going to get through this. I can't sit here and be like, oh, baby doll, you know, it's just going to be hard right now. Fuck that shit. Get the fuck over it.
Do you understand? Is that what it say? Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. You, everything that you have learned, everything that you have gone through, if you help people and tell them about what you're going through and what you have gone through and give back and do good shit by paying it forward, it will help you. Listen, it will help you. Get over yourself and pull your shit together. Pay it forward. Tell someone the shit that I'm telling you. Stop looking for closure. Don't be scared about what the world has to offer you next. Look forward to it. Rejoice in it. Dream. Be a dreamer. And the only thing you need to be scared is about having confidence is when this situation confront, you know, confronts itself to you. The number two. Number two, duality, balance. Okay? So you're trying to have balance. And that's what this, that's what yesterday is about. The two of, the two of earth is about balance. Putting shit down that is keeping you off balance. So, number two. I'm going to read this to you guys. It says, Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and having nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or, or conversations in it. What is the use of the book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? There are points in life where everything seems quite perfect. Things are calm, all is well, and we are comfortable. Sheltered, easy in ourselves and relationships that we have. There is, in short, nothing at all wrong. Then why can we not feel satisfied? This is because free spirits grow restless amidst too much sameness. Much as we find Alice and you, dear reader, at this time. While she ought to be enjoying the afternoon beneath the tree in the late summer, Alice is actually a little fretful and restless. She wants for adventure to explore to reach beyond the comforts of her current existence. This is the very point you are at. You will decide whether or not to enter into and enjoy all that you have been given. There is nothing at, at all wrong with embracing that. Lord have mercy. Or as you will know from Alice, this could be the point which you begin to want. Who? So I call me from fucking Morocco. Ciao, bye. Um, what was I saying? Or as you will know from Alice, this could be the point at which you begin to wonder whether this is a place from where you need to explore, stretch, or jump. A small part of you is tired of the tidy, the comfortable, and the repetitive. You would rather the adventure where you will learn more from who you truly are than you will in this in between state of sameness and the people who never ask questions are content to never go beyond the comforts of their current life. You, dear reader, once more. This card tells you, you, this card tells you that very soon, if you choose, you will have an unprecedented opportunity for adventure. It is your decision. But I think you know what you will choose when the moment of change arrives. Just in time to save you from the numbness. I just said that. The numbness of having too much habit and um, repetition. This is the very edge of change. Prepare yourself. A longing for excitement. A wonder at what is meant to take place next. Someone who is very comfortable, but vaguely dissatisfied. Be ready for a challenge and for new experiences. So listen, y'all are at a state of numbness. Stop sitting here in this numbness. Just accepting, just, just stop. It's time to move forward. It's time to truly move forward. Stop staying in that state of, well, I don't know what really happened. Did this person really love me? Um, 
Do they feel bad about what they did? Did this person ever really care about me? Who gives a fuck? Stop looking for acknowledgement. Stop worrying about it. You are feeling numb. You're feeling stuck. Okay? It's time for you to let this go and move forward and get yourself prepared for what is coming ahead. Because guess what? This is the five of pentacles, baby. The hard times are over. The struggle is over. The pain, the suffering the, is over. It is over. Nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. This motherfucker closed you out of their world. God said, guess what? I got a brand new door open for you. And it's full of prosperity, true love, and abundance, and goddamn happiness. Happiness. Stop looking for acknowledgement for someone who don't know how to acknowledge greatness. <laughs> Did I say that? Oh, okay. Stop looking for acknowledgement from someone who don't know how to acknowledge greatness. They like to play in the fucking dirt. <laughs> Girl, you need to focus more on your family. Your family, your friends, and yourself and your heart is the only thing that you need to be committed in. And you need to put your head in a damn book. Okay? But like in regards to your career, there is a career change. There is a career change. And we're about to put all of this together. So this one's going to be a bit, little bit longer because it's going into the weekend. Because we're about to talk about your career on a serious level. Because honestly, what, does the, what, what will my new world look like? Money. Because your career about to change. Your love life about to change. Your home environment is about to change. Okay? I do see you guys moving. You guys are probably going to move. All right? Because I feel like after this divorce, after this ending, after this relationship is over, you're so much in a tranquil state. I don't even feel like you even want to be in that same environment no more. Like you guys have been dreaming of complete newness. Like this person up here is dreaming. The visions that they have in their head don't have nothing to do with what their current life look like. Nothing. That's why God is like, okay, I see you. I see what you, you you're picturing in your head. I need you to step down out of the clouds, and we need to put some of this into the earth. We need to put some of this in the real life, okay? Cause you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Like I said, get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people, give back, do good shit for humanity. God put you through this because, like I said, you are one of his warriors. Do you hear me? You are one of his warriors. God puts us, his special butterflies. Do you hear me? Through the hardest trials, the hardest tribulations, the hardest lessons because it is our testimony. Do you hear me? Have confidence. Listen. Okay? See what God is doing and how he is moving in your life and be thankful for it. Be thankful for this. I know it was hard. I know it was a struggle. I know it was. I went through it myself. I, I guess I'm a Scorpio. I ain't scared. I embrace transition. I love the Tower card. I love the Death card. Shut it down. Burn it up. Get it the fuck out of my, get it out. God, if you don't want to hear if it's not meant for me, I'm not going to cry. I'm rolling with you. I don't question God when he do shit in my life. I don't sit back and cry about it. I might cry one time and I ask God to uplift me and keep me in the highest of all, of all high energy. And I'm rolling with him because he knows what's best for me. Okay? This shit ended for a reason. This shit ended for a reason. Okay? You are not emotionally happy. You are not emotionally fulfilled with this Ten of Cups. Right now, you relied on your faith and you found balance. You drop down. You drop down to your knees and you ask God, Father, please give me guidance. What do I need to do so that I can find happiness and move forward? God says, stop holding on to something that is no longer benefiting you. Stop searching for truth that you'll never find. Rest easy in knowing that this person is just who the fuck they are. And they will never tell you the truth. Okay? This, this helped you to close this chapter and open up a new beginning that is led by faith. 
where you will be emotionally grounded and truly emotionally happy. Because you are loved. You went through this through re for a reason. You had to stop devoting yourself to someone and something that did not love you. You went through that because God wanted you to morph. To morph. And it gets you on your life purpose. All right? And it stopped numbing yourself in a situation that was beneath you. You are a fucking butterfly. He has. He has a plan for you. And as you can see at the end of this. Is to show other people. How the fuck you got to this point. Pay it forward. That's his plan for you. You like I are one of his butterflies. Do you hear me? Alright. You've been dreaming. You have been dreaming so much. That God has said you know what girlfriend. I need you to get back into reality. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. However, you are not allowing yourself to be blocked and restricted anymore. You are thinking about the future. You're dreaming about the future. You're releasing yourself from being blocked. You're making choices. You're getting yourself balanced. Okay? You are letting yourself be balanced. You are like, look. I know that it's certain things that I've been holding on to that I need to let go of. And like I said, that two of pentacles, that's exactly what you did. And now you're just like, look, what in the world does the what does the world have to offer me now? What does my future look like? Because I'm in this in-between state in my life. And right now, like I said, you've been dreaming about the future. You've been letting shit go that does not benefit your future. And now you're waiting anticipating because you did your work and you're doing your work all right so new love is coming to you you might meet someone in a coffee shop all right but first thing you have to do is stop looking for acknowledgement from people that no longer serve you and do not deserve to be in your energy because nothing can stop you you're on the way up those hard days are over. So you not being rewarded. Okay. People not celebrating you. You not feeling victorious in your relationships. Those days are fucking over. True love is in your energy. And it's coming very soon. Oh, and this man is fancy. And he's going to upgrade you, honey. Oh, he's upgrading you. Honey, do you see your fabrics? Didn't I tell you you're gonna be going to you gonna be up at the Kennedy Center? You are gonna be on Broadway plays. That's what type of man this is, okay? Y'all travel around the world. Y'all travel around the world. Nothing can stop you. You're on the way up. Your hard days are over. That stress, your money, your finances, everything. Ever since you decided, stop looking to be rewarded and to be acknowledged by this fucking idiot. As soon as you stop that. And you dropped that pinnacle, bitch. You gained four more. You gained four more. God just wants you to have confidence. Because guess what? God is bringing you everything that you've been dreaming about. Like I said, you've been dreaming. He just want to know if you, you've been dreaming, you've been thinking about it. But when I give it to you, are you going to be able to act? Because you've been hard-headed as fuck here lately, Divine Feminine. You ain't really been listening. And y'all know y'all haven't. Y'all been too wishy-washy. Y'all been too back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with y'all feelings. And it is negatively impacting your family because I feel like some of y'all been going through depression and y'all need to cut it the fuck out. And if y'all been numbing yourself with some bullshit, y'all been drinking, smoking, I don't know what the fuck y'all been doing. Stop it because it's negatively affecting your family. I don't know if anybody else told you, I'm telling you. Pull your shit together because your kids is looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong with mommy? Don't give this person that fucking power. Ever. In regards to your career, this is life purpose cards. You are protected in regards to your career change. I feel like ever since you guys have left the situation, you guys have been focusing on yourself. You've been focusing on how to make yourself better. And not only are you like, I don't want to deal with this old relationship no more. This career is stagnating me as well. And God, I want you to know that you were pr protected during this um, stage of your, just changes in general in your life. 
but particularly in your career. You are protected in this career change. God wants you to practice on your craft. Practice makes fucking perfect. And he wants you to study. Study. Pick up a book or practice writing. I feel like some of you guys might want to write a book. Maybe you guys... Yeah, your connection to your life purpose is through your involvement with books. Yeah. And like I said, it's telling you to pay it forward because you are loved. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. So you are loved and loved. And it's telling you. That you're here for a reason to get some, give some. It will cheer you up. So isn't that trying to tell you to love yourself? And if you get, and if you give yourself some, you will get some. You know? It is time to let go. Time to officially, permanently let it the fuck go. Move the fuck on get over yourself pull your shit together help people give back do good shit for humanity you are loved loved time to let go and get over yourself and pull your shit together this is telling me god put you through this shit for a fucking reason write your book write your fucking book Stop numbing yourself. Stop allowing this shit to affect your family. Your hard days are over. You're wondering what will happen next. You're ready for that adventure because you stopped devoting yourself to bullshit and those hard days are over. It's over. It's fucking over. Your job that God wants you to do, your path is to pay it forward. Each one, teach one. You're in this place of love now. You are... Still in the process of letting go. But that still don't mean that you can't help somebody. In this state. Because you've done it. You've done the hard work. There are people out here that are trying to do what you did. Pay it forward. That is, that, that, that is, the, that is the toll. That is what God wants you to do. First. Pay it forward. Number one. Stop neglecting your family. Worrying about this shit. Y'all have been too in your fucking head trying to figure out the truth. It's negatively impacting your kids and your family. Stop it. Recognize that it is. Because it really is, y'all. It is. There's someone that's going to come to you that is going to need this help. That's going to need to hear your story. That's going to need to hear how you realize that I had to stop devoting myself to this and I had to morph into this butterfly because God had a better purpose for me and my purpose was to meet you and to teach you this once you do that <laughs> once you do that honey everything that you've been dreaming about is going to come true it's going to come through. It's going to come true. And it's going to be the test. You got confidence. Because this one is going to be different. You can't operate in that vibration that you operated in that other relationship that you're going to operate here. This person is different. Your key to open up that door is getting yourself together. Stop numbing yourself. Pay it forward. There's going to, you're going to bump into someone. Mark my words. You're going to bump into someone. And you're going to see this person is down. It might even just be someone in the comment section. And you're going to pay it forward. And that's going to open. That's the key. That's the ticket. That's what's going to open up the door. And everything is going to change. And when that change comes. Just like they said. Listen. I wonder what happens next. But you got to be prepared. You got to have that confidence. Right now you ain't. You Listen. Have that confidence because it's coming. Do your work. Pay it forward. Love yourself. Continue to be in this love vibration. You see all this pink, all this pink, all this pink. You pretty in pink. 
Keep yourself in this love vibration because you are attracting that love to you. You are actually attract because of your healing. You're attracting wounded people to you because God has work for you to do. You, listen, I have on average, what, maybe 200 to 300, maybe 400 women that watch these videos faithfully, faithfully. Y'all are just like me. There's millions of people on the internet. And y'all gravitated to me, my foul mouth ass. Y'all get y'all listen to this shit is because you are like me. God is putting you through this because He has a purpose for you to help heal others. Are you willing to accept the challenge to be one of His special butterflies? If you are willing to accept the challenge, put that emoji that arm lifted emoji that me put that me put the me in the comments if this is you are you willing to accept this challenge are you willing to get over yourself and put that love out there and to pay it forward because God is going to bring you people that need healing that are wounded that were just like you are you willing to get the fuck over yourself so that you can help other people huh are you willing are you willing to know that you are protected and to practice and to write the shit write it down like God wants you guys to pay it forward have it be a book have it be you just grabbing someone and helping them and uplifting them you have an anointment on you out of all other pages you are on my page and you are getting this message you have an anointment on you God ain't put you through this for nothing you didn't go through this for naught Pay it forward. Use that key. Open that door. Have confidence. Put your family first. And for fucking once. Listen. If there wasn't no reading that you listened to of mine. Like truly listen to it. Listen to this one ladies. I love y'all. Spread that light. Go on this journey with me to help other women. Are you willing to accept. This new job. This is spiritual. This is a spiritual anointment. This is spiritual work. Are you willing? If God is telling you that you are protected, are you willing? This has been y'all's reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this. All right? If this video resonated, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to book a personal private reading, go ahead and do that. Uh, description. Uh, Hit the uh, about tab. The hyperlink is at the bottom. Scorpion Reds Tarot. I simply booked me. If this video resonated and you want to give a love donation, please feel free. Like I said, I just ordered like a whole shitload of new decks and stuff like that. So you guys will be seeing new decks rolling out. Um, I think I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll them out. Um, the most viewed, whoever the most viewed is, I'm going to like break out the new decks on the most viewed videos or whatever. But anyway, I love you guys. Make sure that you check out, um, if you are a Libra or Cancer, you guys have been selected for the top videos. I'm about to record that now, so look out for that. Love and light. I will see you guys next week. Peace.